Hey everybody, welcome back and happy Sunday. So, what am I enjoying this Sunday? I am enjoying the brand new Wismic Reux, the new kit, the uh, new tank by Jabo. So now, uh, I'll give you the particulars first. Uh, I got the standard kit. You can get an advanced kit. I picked it up at Vape NW. The standard kit was 24 bucks. I believe the advanced kit that comes with the RTA is an additional 11 bucks. So it'll bring you up to 35 if you want the full kit and you want to do your own coils. Now, it's a 6 milliliter tank, uh, stainless steel glass, super wide drip tip, uh, super open adjustable airflow. And I'll take that down to the table over there and I'll show it to you up close. Top fill, great tank, beautiful design. Uh, now, what I really want to talk about is, you know, fuck the tank, how do the coils perform? Because they're with this kit, you get uh, you get two coils. You get a point, uh, 0 0.15 RX triple coil that's good to 60 to 150. You also get a 0 0.50 RX ceramic good from 40 to 80. And additionally, I picked up the third coil, which is a 0 0.5 X, uh, 0, 0, 0 0.15 RX dual coil, which is good from 100 to 260. So that's like the real smoky fucking coil. So. I want to go through each coil first, uh, and well, actually, I'll just go through them how I have them on the list. Uh, my favorite one so far has been the RX Triple. At about, I like it at. You could vape it at 80 and get a shit ton of vapor and shit ton of flavor. I've been liking it at around 90. I got the uh, fucking uh, triple bubble in here. Been an absolute pleasure to vape so far. No dry hits, no leaking, no spit back. It's just been giving me good, really good quality clouds and really good quality flavor. Uh, I like that one a lot. I think, honestly, I wouldn't put it above 110. I think that's the threshold for enjoyment on this one because it just got, it started getting too hot. But I've been liking this. I've been doing it 90 to 95 conservatively. So, excellent coil. My favorite of the bunch is the RX Triple. And for good reason. Now, the 0 0.15 ceramic coil. That coil, I had a couple problems with. The first tank of juice I put through it, it was awesome. I was getting awesome flavor, awesome clouds. Not a fucking problem. It, not a problem anywhere to be found. After I put the, the second, third, and fourth tank of juice into it, I was almost bordering on dry hits. It wasn't wicking. You know, I'd have to pop the cap a little bit to break the vacuum to get it in there. It was... You know, hopefully it was just this was just one bum coil because that seemed like it had a shit ton of potential for a ceramic, and it's supposed to have it even says on the uh, if you look it up, it's supposed to have super long life, which most ceramics do. So you should expect to get the longest life out of this uh, out of the ceramic coil out of the bunch. Now, the zero point fifteen, the RX dual. Yeesh. I think they might have rushed that one. Uh, it's good from 100 to 260. You know, it says so on the package, but I don't think that's true. Honestly, it's it's too goddamn hot. I had it. I put it in the tank. The first one I put in, I had some kind of a short in it because it, it fucking heated up my, my mod within the first three pulls. And I was pulling it at like 60, 70. It got super hot. I was like, okay, this is probably a bad coil. Took it out, put the second coil in. Second coil, got no everything was pretty normal except the fact that it got it got too hot too fast. There's no way you even I'm not even coming close to 200 on that coil. I went up to 145, 150. It it felt dangerous almost for the fact that it made the mods so fucking hot. I've had other coils that you know you vape it at 150. It's not pulling like it pulled on that one. You know it's not getting as hot, and the fucking tank got like lava. So. Didn't like that one too much. I actually got decent flavor off it, and the cloud production was off the fucking charts, but I don't know if there's a problem with the coil. I'm not putting a fucking third one in because I'm not putting myself through that kind of abuse, so. I just personally didn't like it. You know, maybe it'll be like the uh, the Ornate where, you know, they'll they'll correct that, and because now I love the Ornate. Hopefully it's the same deal where it's just early, and maybe there's, uh, there was a couple of screw-ups in the batches, but uh, overall... The 0.15 RX triple is my damn favorite. So uh, what I want to do is I want to break this thing down, and uh, I want to show you all the different coils and uh, just how purdy this tank is. 
So a little box porn for you guys out there that like that stuff. This is uh, your packaging, your nice little laminated box for the uh, Reux. They have on the back, if you get, depending on which kit you got, you know, well, they'll check it off and they'll let you know the contents of each one. One with scratch and check. And then the rest of the box is garbage, nothing exciting on there. So inside, this is where your tank would have been. And the package they give you, they give you, there would have been the uh, ceramic row would have been inside. That .50 ceramic. What they have in here is a couple of extra screws. That black piece right there, that's a drip tip adapter right there. And they give you a few extra gaskets for the tank. And inside, they give you a breakdown in multiple languages on how to do your, uh, if you bought an RTA kit, it'll tell you how to change that out, how to change your coil, and all the uh, basic bullshit. So, now, this is what we all came for. We all came for this. Look at how nice that, that coil is, that design. They actually carve it into the coil itself, the JBO. The, uh, that other .15, the dual, did not have that fancy design. I'll show you that uh, before we, once I break this down for you. So your tip, you can see that comes off if you want to put your adapter on there. Now it's a top fill. It's, it's a real wide top. This I like. I just like these very simple top fill designs. And you have your... Uh, this thing I gotta tighten up a little bit. You can, it's it's nice and tight. I don't like it when they're too loose, but it stops. There's a little stopper on it, so this thing isn't on the tank, so it's not it's not complying. But you could see it's uh it's got nice gnarlings on it. They went they went all out with the uh, with the little extras. You know, you can see on the top cap. You know, you got uh, your Wismic stamped in, your Reox stamped in. They did make sure they they got all the uh, they got all the nice brownie points from the looks-wise perspective. So this, if you want to change your coil, I think my coil got stuck in there, which happens. It happens a lot. Swapping them out back and forth. Hmm. There you go. Oh, hold on. All right. There you go. That'll happen sometimes. You're just gonna get stuck in there. This is the uh, this is the triple coil that they have. It's uh, it's gonna basically as you're uh, vaping, bubbles are gonna come out of one of two sets of holes as it wicks. It's a pretty wide base. You get pretty pretty uh, nice airflow, even though it's a little it's a bit more constricted than usual. Now, if you wanted to, you could take your glass off. That thing will pop right off. I don't want to take it off. This thing slides around a lot, and it's just a pain in the ass. So, but when you first take this off, this is really mine was really hard to pop the glass off. It was almost like it was glued in. So. You can see under here these two screws that would uh, pertain to your RTA deck, deck if you get it. And I saw on Vape NW they have three different RTA decks for it. So that's your uh, 510 threads pin and your uh, connector down inside the base. It's a nice base, you know. Like it's it's typical to uh, typical to these uh, giant uh, smoke tanks. You know, you get that wide open, so you get you want to cram in as much uh, airflow as humanly fucking possible. Now let me put the, I'm going to put the, uh, the triple back in there. Oh, I want to put, oh, I'm going to put that triple back in there because when we go, when I, uh, sign out of this video, I just want to, I want to vape that a couple more times. So, easy tank, beautiful design. You know, it's, uh, and the gnarlings make it real easy to grab everything. So, yeah, airflow. So that's it. That's the, the beauty of j -Bo. He does design some nice shit. So here, this is your uh, this is your ceramic. You can see it's got a really big spit back screen in there, and it's the same design. It's got the J-bolt carved in, and you're gonna get your air, your uh, as you're juicing your coil, you're gonna get the same big bubbles out of those two uh, those two channels. Much smaller. This is a 40 to 80. It's not designed for that monstrous airflow. So in here, this is the if you wanted to buy the uh, the dual coil. This is what the dual coil looks like, uh, very similar to the triple, or pretty similar to the triple. And you have a more standard looking coil. You know, it's got the standard slots for uh, wicking purposes, and they just stamp it j -Boo. And they let you know your wattage on it. But, now, I've seen with the, uh, I think it was the V12, some people thought you could stick a RX coil in there. While they are very similar to a, uh, to a uh, beast coil, I'm sorry, beast coil. Well, it's very similar to a beast coil. These 
bottom threads will not go in past a quarter turn. I've tried it already on the uh, trying to put a uh, beast coil in the Wismic tank. Doesn't work. Threading is different. They made it purposely so you could only use their uh, their coils. But that's it. That's uh, that's the roundup on the uh, up close up closey time. So beautiful tank, nice vape on that triple coil, and uh, we'll go go back and sign off. All right. So overall thoughts on the tank. So technically, one out of three coils was really good for me, and that was enough for me to really like this tank. Uh, that RX triple fucking came in like Superman to save the day. Uh, I've been I passed a shit ton of the which what I'm vaping now the fucking trouble bubble it tastes fantastic I've been getting tons of vapor so that is again my coil of choice. So if you bought the ceramic and you've been having a good time with it, let me know in the comment section and uh, I want to hear about it because that's something I'd like to do a long term update on this with the ceramic and. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to revisit that dual coil because it just scared me a little bit. I don't like the way it behaved in the tank and, you know, how much it heated everything else up. Uh, but overall, 24 bucks, well fucking spent. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you, uh, if you didn't click the subscribe button, it's, it was down there the whole time, but my head will pop up. You can click that too. And uh, if you want to thumb it up, share it, like it, whatever you want to do. And uh, I got the, I bought the... Milo RT25, so that's going to be the next one. That one I'm excited about. That's the one you can, you can swap out the uh, Beast Coil. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you very soon.